The Barbenheimer phenomenon causes sparks explosion in UK movie ticket sales. Following the debut of Barbie and Oppenheimer, according to View International, ticket sales at UK movie theaters enjoyed their best weekend in four years. The theater chain reported on Sunday that one-fifth of its patrons had bought tickets to watch both films in the Barbenheimer double bill, which was inspired by social media. Greta Gerwig's comedy about the titular doll and Christopher Nolan's historical drama about J. Robert Oppenheimer's involvement in creating the first atomic weapon have quite different plots, and both movies were released on Friday. According to the firm, more than 2,000 of View's screenings of Barbie were sold out. Cambridge, Glasgow Street Enoch, Leeds Kirkstall, Cambron, Islington, Bolton, and Portsmouth were the cinema chain's top Barbie locations. The movie, which also stars Ryan Gosling and Margot Robbie, will outpace Oppenheimer and Super Mario Brothers in terms of ticket sales, according to View. Tim Richards, chief executive and founder of View International, said, View saw its highest weekend admissions since Avengers Endgame in 2019 with the release of Barbie and Oppenheimer. Barbie is tracking to become the biggest film of 2023 and has a good chance of getting into the top 10 highest grossing films of all time. It is an incredibly exciting moment for the industry and we expect this trend to continue for the coming weeks. For both movies, the Nationwide Theatre Network had more than 4,000 sell-out showings. Over 200,000 advance tickets had been purchased, and over 10,000 people were anticipated to attend the opening weekend of both movies, according to Odeon's release on Thursday. Oppenheimer starring Killian Murphy and Florence Pugh, has reportedly generated £8.05 million in the UK and Ireland since Friday, according to Universal Pictures. Barbie had the greatest opening weekend of any movie in North America, grossing $155 million, while Oppenheimer brought in $80.5 million. Sales have skyrocketed across the pond as well.